Well, a very good evening on the 21st day of June, 2024. I've just travelled up from uh, Strathairn, which is a bit gloomier and damper than it is up here. Uh, uh, just a few miles from Crane Larrack, and this is the Louib. Louib uh, Hotel, or Louib Inn. And um, I'm booked in for a, something to eat at uh, 6 o'clock. It's only quarter to 6, and I'll tell you why. Um, the traffic was uh, remarkable. There was none. I couldn't believe it. Uh, everybody was heading southbound um, in Glen Ogle. There was nobody at all. So I got a free run right through Glen Ogle. A couple of cars behind me right enough, but, uh, and most of them were just leisurely drivers and just uh, not really causing any fuss. But anyway, I won't chat too much about things until I go inside. I, I'm not sure if I can actually uh, open my camera where there's diners and stuff. Um, I phoned this morning, I said to them, uh, what time do you start serving meals? So she told me, I said, well, book me in for tonight, please. Uh, six o'clock, I said, yes, I, I, I think I will. It's on my bucket list, I may as well do it tonight. So I'm glad it's not too bright and sunny, it's just a perfect night, actually. Well, it's not really that perfect for summer, is it? But uh, being the 21st of June, of course, this is the uh, oh, it's a whole rush of things have happened just now. This is the... Uh, it's 12 weeks since the uh, spring equinox. It's now the summer solstice. It's uh, basically it's 12 weeks since the start of the astrological year. We've got... Um, uh, the sun's gone into cancer today, the sign of cancer. We've got a full moon building into um, the sign of Gemini. I uh, know, I beg your pardon, uh, a full moon building into the uh, the sign of Capricorn. So full moon in Capricorn tomorrow. And um, what else have we got, Any? Well, we're halfway through the bloody year. And I don't think that summer's been that great. Not really. It's been very gloomy, very cloudy, and very cool, actually. Not at all what I've expected this summer. I thought after such a deluge of uh, wet weather since the last October, I thought, uh, yes, thing, rub things in our hands together. Because I remember back in March, the weather wasn't too bad, really. Not really. It was, it was, it was a bit wintry and... And uh, and chilly at times, but it was all it was building to spring, and then April was a disaster. We got five days in May, so um, well, I'm here, so I may as well um, switch camera off and make my way in. I'll get a couple of snaps as I come out into the car park itself. I parked all right here, I think. Yes. I think you have any, you've popped up. Perfect. So just confirmation we're at the Louis Hotel. And just uh, a quick shot out into the, the wilderness. Uh, very damp uh, area this. And um, it, th this the hotel's actually uh, built on raised ground. I always thought it was in the, completely into the swamp. But it's not, it's been on raised ground. The um, the hills there, that they, they border uh, Glen Lochy, so if you go over the top of those, you'll come into Glen Lochy, and then you can make your way uh, down to uh, eventually you can down to Pubel at the very end of uh, Glen Line as it joins Loch Line. So I've been up that way, uh, uh, both well. I'm not going to go into all the details. I've been up there. That's that's all I'm going to say. So, anyway, let's get in. It looks like it's rather busy, but there's a lot of cars, so we'll see what's what. So here we are inside, Annie. Uh, the lady there to greet me as well. She, uh, she came out and said, hello, Mr. Brock. And I said, hello. <laughs> and, uh, oh, thanks very much. Cheers. And I um, find this building absolutely fabulous. There's such a, such a feel to it. 
Uh, there's television on the background, of course. There's, what's that game? It's called Pointless or something, which I think is bloody pointless. Um, and look at this lovely coup. But, uh, anyway, it's uh, absolutely perfect here. And I'm going to sit and relax. The bars, um, just to, I've got a protection area here, but the bars over at the back. And uh, I don't know how I managed to miss this pop on my youthful travels. Well, not so much my youthful, but uh, later on I was wandering around the countryside, taking in every pub that I could in Perthshire. I did pretty well, actually. I got about 90% done. Uh, everywhere from, uh, well, Dunning, uh, Dunning up to uh, Pitlochry and uh, from Glenshe in the east, uh, uh, lots of uh, Cooperangas and all that plant sort of place, and uh, and all the way, way out to uh, Tyndrum. You know. And uh, so quite an extensive area, and uh, the rest of them I didn't manage to get them. Catching up now, but uh, there's a fantastic fire being there on the winter's night and the logs already. So it's uh, it, it, it's sitting here and the traffic, I mean, the 85 is just zooming past out front, but I can assure you, you can't really hear the calls. But I, I, I think this is a smashing little quarter, just perfect, Andy. So thanks very much. I'm gonna get in to my uh, Pepsi Cola. I don't have any ginger beer, so I'll indulge in this. Get my sugar levels in my as high as possible so I can nip down to dots in one and see I think I've got diabetes. But... So I've made a decision. I've booked in for the end of August and I thought, uh, why not do it? And that will be another one's ticked off my uh, famous bucket list. And I'm very much looking forward to it. I hope the night is rather inclement so that fire can be put on in late August with a bit of a chill in the air. And uh, I can sit and uh, have dinner here and then have a couple of drinks actually because the bar sort of suits me. It's one of my kind of favourite style bars actually. It's brilliant looking. And uh, I'll sit and guzzle a few beers before I collapse in my bed. Uh, a short time later, perhaps.
Uh, so I've pulled in here at the top of Glen Ogle and pointing over the old uh, railway track across the the valley there. The Volok in the distance is uh, shrouded in mist and it's rather gloomy for June. And the uh, reception in uh, Radio Nangel is not terrific because of the mountains, but we won't complain. I'm sitting here, uh, probably best described as a place that the police would normally sit to catch speeding drivers. And, uh, so if they come along, they'll probably tell me to get the hell out of the spot. Speak of the devil, here they come. Yes, yeah, so I thought I'd best not film them because, um, well, it's a sort of double whammy, isn't it? Taking the piss, really, uh, filming them when you're, when you're sitting in their spot. So they'll probably come back down anyway. So who's that chap sitting in a bloody spot? Let's go down and chase them out. But uh, I've, I've been to the Louis, and I, I mean, I won't say, I like the window's open, isn't it? Uh, I won't say that I thought, well, it's not so much the food wasn't good, it was my expectations uh, of restaurants are much higher than they used to be. And to me, in a restaurant, food is, uh, well, in some of the places I've been eating food, uh, uh, I, I do think that my expectations are much higher than they used to be. So I'm not giving uh, I'm not giving the hotel place Louis Bar any marks out of ten in, in a negative response. I'm just saying that uh, I my food uh, that I normally consume would be of uh, better prepared and no, not better prepared, better presented. No, not better presented. Presented fine, Andy. I think you're too used to eating caviar. I think that's what your problem is. You eat caviar too often, actually, when you think about it. But, um, it's a big letdown for Scotland, I'm afraid, when it comes to, to food, unless you're paying about... Uh, you know, 80, 100 pounds uh, I had. So, uh, actually, I remember uh, sitting in a London on the Thames, I mean, my partner had a, a meal on a ship called, a, well, not a ship, a boat called the Hispaniola. And uh, I do remember eating the food there. It was absolutely delicious. There's more police coming up. Uh, unmarked police car, I can tell, you can always tell them. You know, he's giving me a glance as well. Just get out of our bloody spot, you. <laughs> I'm with this camera in my hand, the other drivers are getting a bit nervous as well. They think I'm bloody part of the squad. But there's the, uh, the top part of, uh, if you go over there, you'll get to, um, oh, any distractions. Oh, come on. I've walked it, the, 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 the route from uh, Belwindo to uh, Ochline. It's on the other side of that. Oh, I've forgotten the name of the bloody Glen. I have to say the Europeans have got a spot on when it comes to dining and even when I was in Tel Aviv in that uh, Lebanese restaurant with the 22 dishes I mean every single dish was absolutely wonderfully prepared it wasn't a 22 course meal it was a 22 dishes for the main. I 
Well, I've not stopped me from booking into Louis. And I, uh, she says, would you like something to eat? I says, no thanks. You're not sitting and having a meal? I says, there's a police, another police car coming up. I said, no, I'm not coming up because uh, he's, another, he's probably got a phone call. He's probably said to them, uh, listen, come up uh, to about, I couldn't film them, but that's uh, another um, four by four police. They must be doing the rounds at this time of night for the, for the drinkers or something. I don't know what time's it any. Yeah, they're probably on the scout about for those coming out of the pubs. Well, that's three of them, and I said, I, I mean, that police car's uh, that second lot, uh, they must have got a call saying, there's some bastard sitting in a parking space. Who? Don't know, he's sitting there. Um, I don't know if he's got it on a mobile phone or something, or a camera. Well, I'm coming up to check. And he's probably just left Lockdown Head and comes zooming up the hill there. I should have filmed them actually, just to, sh you know, to show you. But I better get the hell out of here because they're going to come back and say, get out of their spot, you. <laughs>